What's going on guys? Simon Blaze and Pedro Blaze. We are Blaze Manga here and we are gonna show you something really interesting today. We are actually planning a scene. So um, we are gonna show you some of the behind the scenes, the process of us planning a scene for the manga and motion comic. So technically Pedro is gonna explain to you the issue we had we encountered when we were planning the scene of, of chapter 14 I believe. Pedro, take it from here. We had the whole chapter already planned out. There's a scene where we have an action moment. We have an action scene. And you can, as you can see right here, we had already drawn this part. We had this one like that, and it was too simple, so we decided to change it. So technically what happened, we built, we made all this build up, we built that scene. We have Emma spinning his diamond whips, and then all he does is just shoot them into the ground and trap shoulder. We thought it was too simple, and we thought we needed to do something more epic, because the scene needed something more epic. Now what we're doing, is planning possible solutions of alternate versions of the scene. Better show them what we got so far. As you can see, he already just shoots, lays that, I mean, throws the attack to the ground and the things go underground. Underground, yeah. And then what we see next is we see these things going crazy like that towards each other. And we, that, we knew that this wanted to, we wanted to do this kind of like the transformer scene when there's a little robot. The little destroyer worm that goes underground and destroys the buildings and stuff. Yeah. So we want to create that effect of a diamond worm type of uh, attack. Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. the inspiration right there. So it will be too crazy to dodge, technically. Um, so we have shot up. We didn't know what we wanted to do with Shudder, but we were really reading the chapter and we noticed that Shudder has his... Um, cloak, his blue, his angel cloak on, so we thought it was really cool for Shudder to have his cloak and for his cloak to protect him from the, the diamond attacks, right? Well, we encounter another issue, in chapter one, his dad is using his cloak, right? And his cloak doesn't really protect him from the attack, like the guy actually attacks him with the diamond go through his cloak and actually that hurt Shudder's dad, so we thought, okay, how, how are we going to fix that, right? So tell them what we need to fix it. Okay, so we're gonna have Shutter protect himself like that. And he's not gonna realize it, but his wings are also gonna protect him like that. It's just a subconscious move. Since he did that, the wings are also gonna do it. And the diamonds are not gonna hit him because they're gonna, they're gonna just go around the around wings. Him, like, like the wings protect, they just push everything away from, from him. Mm -hmm. At this point in time, Shudder doesn't know how to control his powers as well. Yeah, so part of our thought process of how, of how to fix this is coming up with cool ideas. We, when we started this uh, chapter today, we have no idea where we're gonna go with this. If that makes sense, we just know, we knew we needed to make something more epic, more awesome. I think the next thing we need to do, Pedro, um, I don't know if we're gonna do a, a, a show where we see the back of Shudder and the diamonds going around him, and then we do an aerial shot. Yes, that would be good. So, let's sketch two. I think we should do both of them. Yeah, I think I think so too. It's not gonna be like an over the shoulder, just we see to everything from shoulders back. We see shoulders back and the diamonds going around. Yeah. And the aerial show will emphasize it even better. But on the other thing with shoulders back is that we're gonna see the wings already protecting him. Ah, exactly. We won't, we're not gonna see the wings, we're gonna see shoulders back and the energy. And the aerial show is gonna reveal like something is going on and then we show the wings in front of him. Like maybe the show could be clo a little closer, a little tighter, so we don't see shoulders back and the diamond going around. We can see a little bit of the wings bending. Oh, what well, I was gonna say, one thing to notice is like we're doing all of them in 1920 by 1080, like wide frames, like a uh, movie storyboard, but we're gonna adapt them to the comic book format later on. Right now we just frame the scenes, uh, scene by scene. Frame by frame. Okay, oh, maybe. Don't know. Okay, that looks pretty cool. The, the diamonds are going around. And once Pedro draws them, like with in more detail, you see like maybe some of the diamonds are bending, going in different directions. Or the diamond mass, the diamond worm is bending around him. What's happening here is the wings are protecting him, right? But we need to let 
So we need to show that the wings are protecting him, but we're not giving it away right now. We're gonna give it away after. We're gonna reveal it after. We're gonna reveal it after. Uh, to the scenes. Yeah, after we change the scene. So right now I'm just making the plasma around. To hint at it. To hint at it, yeah. And this is like just a plasma going around shutter. Just to show that there is something right here and it also gonna help with the effect of kind of like the explosiveness of the situation. Yeah, I agree. Because right here we just see that something happened, that something's going around here. Yeah. Like it almost looks like what's going on here. With the aerial we're gonna see like a diamonds, the shape they're taking around each other. For this scene I don't think we're gonna add, add in any extra dialogue lines. I think the expressions, the faces of the characters are gonna say everything. Mm -hmm. Like a, a picture says more, more than a thousand, thousand words sometimes. So as long as Shower has this like weird expression on his face, like what what just happened? Can I look? The real will get it, like oh my god, what's going on? I don't know, but I'm gonna take advantage of this situation. That's kind of what Shudder's thinking. Okay, let's see what's going to say. Oh my god, what's going on? I don't know, but I'll take advantage of this situation. I don't know. I don't know, but I need to take advantage of this situation. I better counterattack now. now. Especially because my wings that came out of nowhere are protecting me. These wings, they came out of nowhere. They look like my dad's. That's so weird. I wonder if I have something to do with my bloodline. And then we throw to a, fl to a flashback. And we throw a flashback with his dad was fighting me. No, not even that, but he just says something like, oh, this wing, this wing is wrong in the family or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, uh, oh, that's right. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now that, I, now that I see it, it looks amazing. Yeah, you're, you're going to wait until the sketch is finished. Oh, the sketch is going to finish faster because we're going to speed it up. Okay, for, for the next shot, I feel like it should be a close shot. Of shoulder opening his eyes with a, with a confused expression on his face. Like maybe he moves a little bit arms and then he, it's right before he sees the wings. So he just make a closer of shoulder with his arms already move a little bit and with a confused look on his face. Close shot? Yeah, okay. kind of like the one, yeah, closer. And you, you just move out the arms a little more because he's not, he just moves his arms to see what's happening. Is he wearing glasses in this? No, he already dropped them, right? Uh, I think... I don't know. Yeah, because I think he drops them when the plasma hits him. Mm -hmm. The diamond hit him uh, like two scenes ago. Mm -hmm. and I think all the money shots he was not wearing glasses. In the money shot, I don't think so. We got a money shot like this super awesome shot we're gonna use in the trailer. Well, the, nobody knows what it is. Unless you're already seeing the trailer by the time you're watching this video. But the money shot we're gonna use is whenever Shudder and Emma are about to hit each other in a clash. The Do next shot, I will we see the wings like right here? No, no, because the camera is that close. In the next one, we're gonna see the wings. Let's say the camera is inside the wings and looking at Shudder. In the next one, uh, I was thinking a medium shot or medium long shot. I'm not sure yet. But the emphasis, I want perspective on it. So you see the wings. You see Shudder like this? Look at me, and then you see you see sure like this confused, and you see the wings on top of sure like we, we got, from the front. Yeah, from the front. So we might need to be able to Long see shot. through, see through the wings. If that makes sense. Now we we can have Koshi Taro saying in the exposition, "What is going on? Those wings are protecting each other. <laughs> Those wings are protecting each other." I cannot, I cannot attack him, but he's awesome. The wings seem to be protecting, protecting. <laughs> Captain Emeru! The wings seem to be protecting him. You should try a different strategy. You should, you should try a different strategy. You should try a different approach. That's it. You should try a different approach. Approach. Okay. Oh, by the way, guys, we're just imitating one of our voice actors. 
they were guys that play social that would be amazing. Yeah, he has a, uh, an accent. An I don't know, know, I don't know from where, but it, sounds, it goes so well with the character. He's so awesome, yeah. Pushitaru, that's one of the characters that came out of nowhere. Like we just designed him to have a, a character, an extra character, character in the team, and everybody that did the audition seemed to love him. So we increased his role after that. <laughs> we have a more important, more important role and better abilities and everything. Okay, now is when it gets a little foggy in my head. Should we go back to Emaru and see his reaction? Yes. Or, should, or should we just have Shudder doing a face of the oh, I'm actually going to kick you. Yeah. Okay. We have to go to, to Emaru. Sure, just show him putting more effort in his attack. Releasing more diamonds. Mm -hmm. And then we, see, we can see Shudder's speed jumping and Shudder out as a house of his. Yeah, yeah. Can you sell our. Uh, yeah. You can sell our wings. Right. At first you could, but I think like you already did with the diamonds. Maybe, maybe the diamonds clashing the wings wing should look a little smaller. And we see more of the trail. I mean, it kind of looks like there's something there, but I don't know if it looks like wings. Then we see. And we like a pistol. Like, uh, or maybe the lighter, like how? Oh, oh, I need to put more effort on this. You know, you know he's crazy, he wants to have a good fight. He, wants, he like he just enjoys the thrill of a good fight, so So the next thing we're, what we already decided we're gonna have Shutter jump and get a little cocky and be like, hey, I have, I have freaking wings. I wanna fly and punch you in the face again. I don't know where they came from, but I'm just gonna fly. I believe you can fly. I remember my dad had wings at one point. Oh yeah, that was a thing, wasn't so it? So maybe I have it too. I wonder if it has something to do with my blood line. Um, so how is he gonna do it? He's just gonna jump? Yeah. Are we gonna show a close shot? Close shot. The fade jumping. Fade jumping. Yeah. And then we're gonna see him. Ah. Oh. Then we're gonna have a medium shot of, of him flying in the air, and then a long shot. You can tell that speed, right? I thought. I feel like a close shot of him trying to punch him, and a wide shot later, so we can see him getting closer to him. Close shot. Shutter. Yeah, like, no. like kind of like what you have in the list of. Uh -huh, but. So he's gonna be like, he just jumps in. And he's ready to attack. Like, oh. And okay. that's when, when we start seeing the little um, he halos around his arm. Sonic halos. Storyboarding you see guys. We're planning, we don't even we're not even storyboarding. We're planning, we're doing thumbnails, yeah. Forgive me, but no. What's it supposed to be? Oh my god, that looks amazing, yes. Yeah, that's a close medium shot. Medium close shot. So he's flying towards him, 
with this thing in his arm and then suddenly he falls? Don't spoil it. Yeah, he's gonna we're gonna show a, a, a long shot when we see him where he's heading. Like he's heading towards Emaro and maybe we see the the, the diamond mask turning around and going through each other, for each other. Like we can show that. We don't we don't even see the things and I hear he already has them. We don't even see like the halos, the, the hoops. Forming? So you wanna make a long uh, closure when they're forming? Yeah. Okay. So we can see the arm forming. Or maybe we can even see it here. No, no, no. Because it's gonna take uh, away maybe, from. Uh, maybe we can see it here just a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna take away. What is going on? Like something's happening. Like we don't see this, the full shape, but we see something happening. Okay, I see. I guess I can. I guess we can do it again. I really yeah. like a shot though. We have that and then we have we can have another one where we show Because I was in my mind he was moving and things were gonna form while he's moving in that show like he's going towards the camera or he's going to we're gonna you are just gonna see speed lines and things forming. Uh, well but, that could work. Yeah, but in, in animation that could work perfectly with it. Because it's my or my need to show. I'm thinking cinematically right now, no cover book wise, so maybe we need to. The thing is, this is a f like this is literally the first time he uses this, so we have to show it yeah. forming. Yeah. No, I was thinking he was using it in the same previous scene when he got hit it for, for the first time. Oh, like he already has it. Yeah. Remember, he hit Samuro with the Sonic Boom thingy. Maybe he hasn't hit it with that. He's about to hit it with that right now. The last time we see that, uh, this, the halos forming was in. Uh, he hits it with something here, but we don't see what it is. Yeah. We see that he's flying. And but we don't see the, the booms. Yeah. And if no, why was the previous? Because right there, when he hit him for the first time. Oh. So I was thinking they were gonna form oh, here. Oh, here. Yeah. And then boom, he hit it right over there. Mm -hmm. So we only need to show when. Okay, maybe he still has it from the first time. Yeah, so that's fine. So yeah, we, I guess you need to draw them in the previous shot like you were doing. Yeah. Okay. So even from here. Yeah, like it's like. Even here. Okay, maybe, but there's a little, a little smaller, like. Because they fade away and they form and deform because he doesn't know how to control them. So maybe because he's scared, they're like wobbly. Wobbly, yeah, exactly. You don't really see see them perfectly in perfect form until until he gain, gain more confidence or something. He's ready to attack. For manga panel of the week, you should do this panel. <laughs> that will be. Epic. But for the next video, we should show them how to how make that panel happen because that panel is awesome. Then we can get to tutorial how to make an actual pose. I mean, you know how to explain it, yeah? I don't. Exactly. Just, just go with your gut. <laughs> and if you have 17 years of experience, it will come out. You, you just gotta go out there and do it. That's how we're gonna say. Alright, so what next? Okay, so what let's, can we let's do? Play, 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 let's play it scene by scene so we can get a feel for it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so he's been it. He's been it. No, 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 let's not explain it. Let's okay. just go with it like it's happening right now. Oh my god! Oh no, I'm gonna die. Huh? <laughs> what is going on here? Wings? And now we see, need to see him flying through the... Oh, oh yeah, okay. So it's a long shot. So we see what's going on. So maybe we have Emma here and Shutter flying this direction. Yeah, okay, I got it. 
or something more. Something, you understood that? Or something. Or more, maybe more have a uh, profile. Maybe have the camera on the floor and have Shutter fly in that direction, and Emma right here. If you can pull that more high view, that, that would be cool too. You get it? You yeah. Yeah. If you can pull it off, yeah. Just try different angles. Try that one. Try the other one you said before, and try a profile. You guys me, You guys see this? You, you guys see what I see? I feel like you should try all three of them and see which one looks better. Because that could work, actually. Yeah, that could actually work really well. I think I'm gonna do this one. But you have to see the other one, how it works. I'm gonna try this one first. Instead of this or after this? After that. Okay. I don't know if we need it instead or after. Because I wanted one that, that is like that, but we see the teams following each other. The, oh, yeah. So maybe we, we, show, we should show the, the diamonds bending back and then we show that shot. But it will be uh, way far away. Like we see the, the diamonds closer to the rear, shoulder in the middle, mid round, came out with the foreground, for background. So I think um, we already saw Emma was sending something towards, sending more energy towards the diamonds, but nothing happened. Like we haven't seen anything happen. So I think we should see that the things bend because he sent the energy, and then we see this shot. Okay. And maybe we can make the we can bring it a little lower and show the other the other two coming back.
trapped. We got it trapped, which is what we've been wanting to do from the start. So we have so we can keep going how many here. panels? We have 9, 12, 18. 18 panels, so we need to put these in like 3 pages. Mm. Around 3, two, I will say 3 pages should be more than enough. Hey guys! So that was the end of part 1 where we planned the scene, we got all the action down and we know what it's gonna look like. That was awesome, I had a lot of fun. You Make sure you stay tuned for part two, which we're, we're gonna discuss paneling. It's gonna be very interesting. Thank you for watching the video. If you wanna see more, make sure you watch our other videos and go to our Patreon page if you wanna get more content. You're gonna get exclusive content and you get awesome rewards, stickers and stuff. Please remember to drop a like and share the video with your friends and we'll see you on, on the, the other, other side! side.